Yes, I think it's two. It is two. It's past two. Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, doing my follow-up Friday. So what I thought I would do today, um, I started playing with different things, and um, I turned our peaches from our Euro peach into plums. It's not as great as turning, you know, water into wine, but this is really fun. <laughs> It's not that great of an event, but that was a great event. So here we go. So anyhow, I know that some of you have seen this. I have not kind of done it myself yet. And I thought, how fun. Um, I'm making a kit to go with the Euro Peach um, stamp set and dies. So um, there will be actually in this one, because I couldn't stop designing, there'll be five cards um, in the kit. You make two of each of the cards. So a total of 10 cards. And it is what $36. So, and everything will be cut and, and scored and ready for you to do it, but you will need um, the Sweet as a Peach uh, stamp set and dies. So, and it comes with a PDF. So I'm going to show you <laughs> this one. So this was the last one I did, and I said, this is my favorite. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to quick do a little stamping. If you're here, hello, say hi, chat a bit, um, talk with me, um, and... If you're watching later, that's fine too. Give me a holler and let me know what you think. So here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around. Ta-da. And here we go for a little ride. Woo. And I have my new, I have a new light here. So I'm hoping that the lighting is, uh, is better too. I had a, I had a light that kind of, whoopsie, that's way big. Okay. Hello, Linda. Hello, Linda. So um, I had a light that was like, it would go light and dark, light and dark. So this is the Sweet as a Peach um, stamp set. It is bundled with these dies. We've played with it before when we played with the uh, monkey cut kit. You're a Sweet as a Peach or you're a Peach or whatever we call it. Anyhow, <laughs> so that's the pieces. And today we're going to change our uh, peaches into plums. This is the card we're going to do. So I have um, this cool new um, embossing folder. See that? That is actually from, hello, Jean. That embossing folder is actually from the new mini catalog. And I just thought it's so neat. I wanted a little bit of texture. And this is supposed to be like a tree, right? So I thought that's what I used. <laughs> it just gave it enough that it was kind of indescript. It went with this... Um, Balmy blue on here. So if you would buy the kit, um, this you would get a PDF explaining everything. You'd get all of the little embellishments and all that kind of stuff. The little bows are tied and ready for you to go. Um, it would come like this. So here you go. So the embellishments are on a separate little paper, just like this, in with each individual card. Here's my little bows. I'll put those off to the side. So I have this big piece here, and this is for me to stamp my peach, my plums on. They're not peaches, they're plums today. My plums and the, um, the leaves, and then to do the little, the little hello. Um, in your kit, this would already be embossed, so you don't, don't have to have the embossing folder to do the kit, so that, that's already in there. And then everything that goes inside your card is inside your card, right? So like that, okay. So first of all, I'm going to start out by stamping our little plums. <laughs> I did not say peach. Um, I'm using Gorgeous Grape and uh, Shaded Spruce, one of my favorite greens. I thought that was nice and dark kind of to go against the Gorgeous Grape. I thought it looked nice together. So here we go. So we have to do a little, have to use our embossing machine. Cut and emboss today. So here's my plums. They look just like plums. I mean... <laughs> This was a um, kind of a, a useful kit. I mean, a stamp set is kind of interesting, you know, that you can easily just switch it off to plums. <laughs> and these are nice, deep, dark purple plums. So here's my branch. So I'm stamping that in the shaded spruce. So on here, it would take two of them. So I'm gonna turn it around and do one one way and one the other. There we go. And then I have plenty of room here and there to do my little hello. And that gets cut out. I'm going to do that with the purple. And that I just fussy cut. 
So a lot of times when I'm fussy cutting, I'll use like this blank area here and I'll get it close to the bottom. So I only, I don't have to cut that bottom part, right? I'm just cutting around it. Ta-da! It's such a cute little hello. And as long as I have that open, I think we'll go ahead and do the inside. Now this one I made into, on the front it says hello and the inside it says thank you so much. So I used the um, Gorgeous Grape for the verse. And I'm gonna do some stamping inside, but I usually put the verse on first and then the stamping kind of goes around that. So here's my, thanks so much. And I'm gonna put it a, kind of, not quite down to the, the halfway because I wanna have some of my little branches here and some plums up in this corner. So I'm gonna ink this piece up again. I'm gonna kind of put it around my words. Uh, like that, there we go. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? This stamp is really cool because it's it's not a solid, you know, so it has that uh, light and dark and gives it more texture and depth. Now my little plums can just be stamped right in there. So on this piece, um, in the past we've used, we did the flowers. So you can do the, the flowers or the plums, peaches, whatever fruit you want to do, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And then I'm just kind of lining this up in here. There's, you can see there's like ends and areas where it can go. So I'm just going to line that up like that. It's pretty forgiving. Ta-da! There we go. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's so vibrant. I think I, I really love it with the gorgeous grape. I don't know. I think, wow, maybe they should have been plums. <laughs> but we can have both. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side right now. I'm going to bring my uh, cut and emboss machine over and we're going to cut this, cut out the plums and the, with our handy dandy dies here. Here we go. And this is cool because they stamp the three plums together and cut them all out, but they cut out separately. So I like that it's, uh, you, it's a multiple step, right? With all that good stuff. All right, let's bring over my machine, my big machine. Here we go. Okay. So we'll put our, here we go, put our little, so the plums are kind of cool when you're looking at your dies. There's one that's pointed and that's so you know where to put that on. You just kind of go around there. And the leaves we talked about fitting before that sometimes because it's a photopolymer and it's kind of thin, it can move around a little bit. And then um, how to set that into your frame or your die so that it's the same before you stamp it here we go okay we're gonna go with it we're gonna go with it and if it's off a little bit like on the plums we'll just trim it we'll just trim it a bit it cuts it out so easily I just love that it just falls off falls out of there Okay, come over to the side, little, little plums. There we go. Okay, once more. Of course, I had to put two on here. I just thought it filled it in nicely. There we go. So again, I'm looking at my little plum that has a point, and then my die that has the point. So I know where I'm going with that. Okay, just like that. Let's move this over just a, just a smidgen. I think that's a real word. Is that a real word? Smidgen? You know, it's just a bit. A little bit. There we go. Okay. And crank away. Okay. Ta-da. Get this out of the way. Pull this over. Oh, my little pieces here come on yes you have to come off of the platter there we go of course plum wine or peach wine would be good 
Peter used to make wine. Remember, Linda? We have, um, he had some years ago, he had, had to have back surgery. And so um, we planted grapes along one side of the, our yard on over the fence, by the fence. And uh, it just gave him something to do. So it was kind of a fun little project. He had, uh, he made a whole bunch of wine. <laughs> he was a little winemaker. Okay, so now we have our little hello. And on my, the front of my card, um, along here is the a little whale tail. So I'm cutting it straight here, kind of up, there we go. And then I'm gonna just cut across. Ooh, there we go. Plus he cut that little bit out. And I might have gotten a little wider, but I'm just going to do a little whale tail. So I cut it down the center and then up from the side. And that's ready to go. It's so tiny. That's why I thought it stood out enough when I put it on the blue. Plus I put it up on dimensionals. So, all right. So when you use, um, sometimes when you use die cuts, if they have a lot of deep, like the 3D die cuts, the paper will kind of shrink up a little because it's being pressed into all these areas. So just keep that in mind. Um, sometimes you'll have the paper cut the same and then it's like, this is smaller. Well, and that's why, because it takes it up on your, um, on your die cuts when you're scrunching it in there and moving it around. So I'm gonna put this on the side because I'm gonna glue this on, look at the backside, so pretty. But we don't want those peaches there because we're doing plums today. So here we go. I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here. And I like to be away from the edge a little bit more when you have these deep um, crevices on here because when you push it down, the glue tends to kind of ooze out a bit. So. We want to make sure that I don't have extra glue anywhere. I'm going to follow my lines here on my grid paper so that I know I have it straight. Give it a little press. I still have blue matches. <laughs> I still have blue paint on my nails from I still didn't finish Peter's bathroom. <laughs> Maybe Sunday. Okay, so I have it just a hair longer. And that's from the doing the 3D on my um, on my paper here, my cardstock, because I just use the regular um, basic white cardstock. All right, and that's going to go on my balmy blue layer, just like that. So I'm going to put these, kind of build all my little layers, and then we'll put our our accents and our little plums on there because I like when things go out of the frame and these do a little bit. So I'm putting this on so I know exactly where I'm working. And I know that I have another little eighth inch all the way around when it goes on the base of the card. So one went in the corner, this corner, one went in that corner. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on here. Sorry, I keep moving the base around here. So I'm just kind of putting a little dab in all the leaves Ta-da, it doesn't have to be everywhere, just enough to keep it down there. And I'm gonna go outside of my border. There we go, and I'm just pointing the stem to the corner because on this corner, I'm going to have a little tiny bow, which I thought was kind of cute. Okay, so now this piece, this one's gonna go in this corner. Everyone go to your corners, here we go. Ta da ta da. There. So I also did another, um, we're working on some Halloween card kits. And so I did one using our, um, you know, the black cat that I love. I showed those cards. The black cat and the, the wheel, the whirl, give it a whirl. So there we go. So there's my little branches in there. Now this one kind of moved a bit so I'm going to trim these up super easy. I'm just going to cut a little bit a little hair off of here. There we go with my paper snips. 
trimming the plums just because it moved just a little bit. You could put it on, you probably wouldn't notice, but you know, it would bother me. So the other one stayed in place a little better. So I was in a hurry and I just did it. But look at how easy it's fixed. Ta-da, okay. So I put them all up on dimensionals. So I'm gonna bring my dimensionals in here and I'm just gonna load them all up. It's easier to do that all at once if I can find it. Here it is. So here's my dimensionals. So I'm just going to, doesn't matter which one goes where. So just putting it right, a, a large dimensional, the regular size dimensional right in the center. And then I have to use my little mini dimensionals for my, oops, do I have any on here? Yes, I do. For my, um, my verse here. So right in the corner. There we go. My little mini ones. I can't pick them up. I have to use my pickup tool when I deal with those. All right. So, so easy. It shows us exactly where they need to go. I'm just going to turn them all over now. It's a, let's see here. And we're just going to put them on. So here's the top of it, right? So I'm going to put one here. Ta-da. And one here. And they can kind of overflow on each other here. Kind of, these two kind of go together. They're right next to each other. Ta-da! All right. Next branch. I know, I know it's growing uphill. And it's kind of <laughs> the opposite. But that's okay. I thought it looked cool. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it looks kind of neat like that with them coming together to the corner here. And here's one more. And put it in there. Okay. And then my little words. I didn't want them to get lost in here. And so I thought, I really decided I was like putting it over here, putting it down here. I decided to put it up here because your eye is going to be drawn to the center of the card. So I figured that's where your message should be. There we go. A little hello. And let's put this on top of our... See how that pops up the gorgeous grape? I mean, when you put it on top of there, it just makes it look entirely different. Woo! Pulls that color out. This is, so this is balmy blue and gorgeous grape great color combination so much fun and then that nice bold um shaded spruce i think goes nicely you wouldn't want like a mousy lighter color i think <laughs> i like the shaded spruce i that was one of the at christmas time i run out of that paper all the time because i tend to to go to that shaded spruce although now this year i'll have the evening evergreen and i do love that too so we'll see what happens okay so now I have my little pearls. These are from the pastel pearls and I have my little bows. So I am going to bring my um, blue dots over here and I'm just going to pick up two and put it right where I want it. That's where I want my bow to be. And here's another one. I have not adjusted to the, the sticker being on this side. I, I just, I'm, I have not. There we go. Oops. These remind me of when I wore contacts. Okay, I had the hard ones, not, not the soft ones that everybody has now. Okay, so here's my little bow. That gives it a lot of added texture. And here's this little bow. We're gonna put it up here. I just thought something needed to be at the end of that branch. And then I have my little lovely pearls. So I'm gonna, these are from the Pastel Pearls. Put one over here, one over here, and then one more right above my little verse here. There, always in threes. Threes, otherwise five, and you have to keep going. All right, and here's the inside of the card. So let's glue that in. 
let's see here. Ta -da, ta -da. Tomorrow we have a stamping journey. So we have some people coming to play. I'm so excited. So we'll have people in all day playing from morning till night. And they get to just come in and have at it for, with all my all my stuff. All of my product. I love this card. I hope you do too. It's kind of a... I had done so many birthdays and that kind of stuff. And I thought, well, I need to do a... This is kind of a fun card. You could give this card with a bottle of plum wine. <laughs> As your thank you. <laughs> what do you think? That would work. <laughs> there. Okay. Ta-da! There we go. So sweet as a peach or... Oh, well, let's see here. Sweet as a peach or cute as a plum. I don't know. But there we go. That's the new... That's the new peach. That's the new peach in town. It's a plum. <laughs> so, um, that's it. I'm going to show you... I have one other card. Where did I put that? Um... This card will be in our Halloween card kit. So I wanted to show you it's that give a whirl. So give it a whirl. Here's my little Halloween. Here's my cat. My tail says it's twitching hour. And then it opens and says, have a perfect Halloween. Ta-da! And I love, these are the new stars that are coming out in the, um, in the new holiday catalog. And they look kind of neat, black and orange. And then there's another, there's a purpley color. So kind of fun. So there we go. I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, good. You like the card pretty. Oh, thank you. Hi, Barbara. Let's turn this around here. Woo. I didn't get my hand in there. Usually I cover the whole thing with my hand. <laughs> so I'm so proud of myself. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the card. That set is so cute. So sweet as a peach can be a plum. And um, the color combination, I mean, just offers you so much more. It's sort of a fun thing. Now, I think they have, like, I did a purple plum, but there's kind of red colored plums too. So we'll have to see if we can um, come up with something for that too. Don't want any fruit to be sad. All right. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great weekend. We will see you back for talking on Tuesday at 2. If there's something special you would like to see, please let me know. I um, am happy to uh, bring up or show you anything that I have here. I have a lot. Um, and next week is when the new uh, holiday catalog comes. So if you need a catalog, let me know about that too. Take care. Have a great weekend. Uh, go out for a fish fry. Enjoy your family. We will see you for Talking on Tuesday at 2. And the rest of you who are coming to class tomorrow to have fun all day long. Can't wait. Thank you. Bye-bye.